Greetings life forms. I'm going to show you how I created a teeny tiny bowl terrarium for this Venus flytrap that I got from Walmart. Now, Venus flytraps usually live in a bog-like environment and they need very little nutrients from the soil. In fact, nutrients in the soil could actually kill Venus flytraps. And I believe this is the case with most carnivorous plants. This is mainly due to the fact that they adapted to very bad soil conditions by learning to consume insects. I start with the false bottom. I put a small layer of rocks topped up with some sand to keep the substrate out of the water area. Armed with my trusted tiny shovel, I put in the substrate. Now the substrate I'm using is mainly coco coir and sphagnum moss which will provide very, very little nutrition, which is exactly what is needed. I used my tweezers to get the Venus flytrap free from its original pot. Most of its potting medium was sphagnum moss, but there was a degree of potting soil in there. After prying its roots free from the original sphagnum moss, I placed it in the center of the bowl. I used the tweezers to get its root system deep in the substrate. I used my even tinier tiny shovel to add a bit more substrate around the edges, securing its root system. I then broke up a piece of moss carpet. I believe this is mainly string moss. I then cut the string moss with my scissors, making very, very teeny tiny particles. Now this, while is not necessary, helps the moss spread in a more natural way. It won't look good in the beginning, but soon it spreads out and carpets the entire area. I repeat this process until I am satisfied. It was now time to give it a quick misting. This water that I collected was actually melted snow. The best water to use for carnivorous plants is reverse osmosis water, as it contains very little nutrients. Lacking a reverse osmosis machine, I went ahead and melted some snow. While not ideal, rainwater will work, but dechlorinated tap water sadly will not because it's still high on a lot of other minerals other than chlorine. And like I said before, these plants live in a bog-like environment, which contains very little nutrients inside the substrate or the soil. So most of their nutrients come from what they eat, the insects. After giving it a good spray down, I let it settle in its new home. 